Hello and welcome to PE at Home brought to you by LSC. My name is Becky and today we're doing lesson two for Invasion Games in Key Stage 2. So by the end of today we will have hopefully delivered a range of passes with accuracy, understand how to create the space and how this helps us to pass, take ownership as part of a team so we're making those decisions and understanding why. So today I'm using balls, a hoop, markers and cones but at home you could use balls or soft toys, three pairs of objects that pair up, so obviously you could use books, bowls, cups, etc. Three targets that you can safely knock over and a partner to work with. If you can, if you can video yourself, because we'd love to see you take part, you can upload it to our social media, maybe get out to help you. We'll explain that more in the debrief, but let's get started. Okay, Jake, so for our first game, this is called Pass Through the Corridor. Okay, so me and you, and we're passing up to the end of this corridor. I want yep. you to come up with as many different passes with your hands as you can. Okay, okay. off we go. Brilliant, okay. Drop that on. No good. So on the move, as many different passes as yep. you can. Okay, back on to start. Yep. So, that time, did we use multiple passes or is it more? The same. More of the same. Okay, so mix up a bit. Think of different ones. Brilliant. Like it. Nice. So let's try again. Again, be a bit creative. Think of a different one. Mix it up a bit. That's one. That would be two. Nice. Three. Okay. Love it. Another go again. So for this warm up boys and girls, you have a go with a partner. Think about lots of different ways that you can pass that ball moving through that corridor. Have a go and come back to the two minutes. Okay, five girls, let's have another go. Okay, so that was great. Think about where we're stood to each other, okay? So we were quite close or far away? We were quite close. Quite close. To each other. Think about who else is on the pitch. Who else is after this? Oh, the team, the defending team. Oh, the team. Are yeah. they going to be able to get it more easily if we're close? Yes. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. So, so we need to think about separating and maybe supporting away yeah. from each other. So how would you yeah. do that? Show me some throws that were so, some passes there. So if I, if I, if I throw into you there, then rather than run into this sort of area, I need Where to think about be making it a bit wider. Okay, so my, my path then changes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's That's mix it up then. Yeah. Off you go. Ready? Go. 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 Like it. One more go. Yeah. Nice. Excellent. Okay, let's have another go. Okay, children, so for this part of the drill, just remember looking for that space, thinking about how you're going to move with your partner. Mix up the different passes. Have a go. Okay, but we're going to have another goal this time, but think about the different space that we've got in this corridor, okay? We want minimum 10 passes. Again, mixing them up, so bringing them close, pushing them away, uh, but we don't always have to go forward. Think about how you can move in the different areas, okay? Okay. Ready? That's fine. Let's go. Just pick it. Over! Oh! Over! That's a point, let's see your partner! Hold on. Let's go back. Yes, yeah, yeah. this way. Yes, yeah, shake. Just pick it. Like it. Like that. Ooh, yes, I'm out. Big one. Let's go. Back to that. Shake. Over. Here. Like it. Hit it. Stop. 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 Yes. We're out. Ooh. And one last go. Yes. Yep. Yep. 
the best. So for this one, boys and girls, really think about which different ways you could move with your passes. Think about the distance between your partner and allocate as which path would work best. Have a go and come back to us. Okay, Dick, well done. Now we're all warmed up. We're going to do our first game, which is called Beat the Clock, okay? So I've got my phone just here on the side. We're going to time. First of all, each of us needs to be on the orange, which is a level one. Ten passes. Then we level up to our purple. And then we'll level up to our yellow. Okay, brilliant. After we've done that, obviously, we stop our clock see what we got, give it another go, see if we can beat it. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah. So, no clock starting in three, two, one. On the orange is ten passes off we go. Got two, four, five, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. ten. Okay, level up to purple, go. Think about which pass you do to you. Love it. Two. That was one minute 45. Okay. Not too bad. So for our next go, we're going to try and beat that time. Okay? Think about what passes you're using and we'll do it quicker. Off we go, ready? Starting the clock. Three, two, one. One. Two. Three. Four. four five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Seven. Level up. Careful, go. Come boys and girls, really think about what type of passing you're using. Just give it a quick go and come back to us. Okay, well done. We've got some really good times there. What can you tell me about what's different about the lines on the floor? Um, Have a look at the different levels that we've been working with. They're all at uh, sort of di different distances away from each other, different lengths away. Okay, so for instance at orange, yep. what's different about the pattern if you was at level purple? Um, Have a think. I'd like to say pattern. that the ball has to travel further than purple, whereas if we are at orange, the ball doesn't have to travel as far. Okay, so what's different about your pattern? Probably the type of pass that I use will be different. So it. here, next pass. Are you throwing it the same for purple at purple? No, so that, that overarm that you used there, I'd use that if it was travelling a greater distance. Why? Again, the, because I get more power. More power more gets power to me quicker and yeah. we beat our time, okay? So yeah. the distance affects the time and how hard you're passing, okay? Yeah. The weight. Let's give it a go, see if we can beat our time. Thinking about those different passes and why. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Purple, go. One, two, three. Ooh. Go on, see if we can again. Four, five, six. Oh, wait. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yellow. One. Oh. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And stop. Okay, let's go back. 
go boys and girls as we move on really think about the timing the distance what type of throws you're trying what type of passes you're making okay go give it a go and we'll come back to us Okay, Fab, so this time, because I think we're getting the, the hang of that now, Jake, we're going to add a forfeit, okay? So if we drop it, which we've had a few, we need to go back to zero on that level, okay? So whether we've got okay. five, five good passes, yeah. we have to go back to zero. So Let's see. If we drop the ball at orange, we start again at orange. Start again at orange, go back to zero. So if we're on purple, we start from zero at purple. At purple. Mm -hmm. Cool. Whichever stage you're at, if you yeah. drop, you drop back to zero, but you're still doing do that. ten, okay? Start our timer in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go, 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 go. One, one, two, three, four. four. Oh, back to zero. One, two, three, four. Last one, clap. Boom! Zero, sorry. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes! Okay, Jake, so we're going to put all that we've learned into a game now. So, this is my channel. I can only move in here. You're going to take a ball each round and try to get past me and knock down a tower. Tower poplar, okay? So we'll start with a ball. Grab one out the hoop. You're going to make a pass to me, I'll pass back to you, and we go. Okay, so I can only move in my channel. You're going to try and pass me and knock down a tower, okay? Super, another one. So again, pass, and we go. I'm going to go in my channel, I'm going to show you. Like it, different passes, well done. And again, think about which pass you're going to use. Ooh, Ooh close. Again. These towers are standing. Here we go, Here we go. Here we go. Well done. Rubbish. No such thing as rubbish, no negatives, Ellis, come on. Ooh. Like it. Keep going. So pass, go. Shall we show it? Well done. Keep going, Jake. So for this one, boys and girls, once you do your passing, you become an opponent against your partner. Try and think about which way you're going to go and which pass to you to get those towers down. There you go, you've done one. Well done. Well done, welcome back to our session recap from today's lesson. By the end of our lesson, you should have learned to be able to perform a range of passes accurately, understand how to support a teammate, so when to make those decisions, and also developed how to work well within a team. Thanks for tuning in. It's in our invasion game for Key Stage 2. Hope you've had lots of fun, that's the most important thing. And please, please leave some comments below this video. Send those pictures and videos as well to our social media. Love to see you having a go. Thanks again. We'll hope to see you for part three. Stay safe.